Okay, so what we really want to do is start with this. This was a ditty that we sang on our phone. Dum, 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 da, 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 da. Dum, 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 da, 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 da. And then we went into our music program and transcribed it. And then finally, we put it in a video. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing for Change, Part 50, Transit. In today's episode, we re-entered by reflecting that we have added Zoom to our multidimensional composing toolbox. More on that in a minute. We are continuing to work out our video sound normalization procedures. For example, down here in each of these little separate sound clips, they can each be normalized for maximum audibility. Uh, incorporating music into our metaverse work. You just saw an example of that. And music is beginning to flow again. The little ditties coming in her head and learning how to take those ditties recorded on a phone into our music and um, our metaverse work. So, uh, this video is very much in progress, um, but we did get a video done and posted that looks like this, and it has music in it. And then at the very, very end, Play that music for you. Cheers. And some of you that were here may remember that that music was our demonstration of mode change, where we took major and mo minor and blended them. So that was kind of cool. Uh, we also completed our slides for our first ever Zoom workshop. And this was our timeline. And what was interesting about that is we had these material slides, which you may remember from some previous streams. But then we went into a um, the second half was a round robin discussion, and that seemed to work out pretty well. We had the first part, and then we had um, this diagram, and this diagram, and then we had this. So we've completed our Zoom workshop, and we've been updating our Zoom skills. So what we're going to do is... Uh, to wrap this part of the day up is go back to that ditty that we started with and the first thing that we did with it remember this is what it sounded like direct and dry dum, 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 da, 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 da. and then and then if we can get the right one here dum, 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 da, 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 da. And in this case, we took the same voice, we jacked it up an octave, dropped it an octave, and then we finally upped it four pitch step, half pitch steps, and seven pitch steps to get a kind of a full harmony, and then we ran it through a reverb. So we call that the, the wet version. So that was kind of fun. And then we, as we said before, we transcribed it and added the harmony and Probably what was most fun about this part was um, figuring out what key we were in. And when all was said and done, <laughs> we said we're using C tonality. We're using C major and C minor. And what was throwing us for a bit of a loop was uh, that uh, we were not using two notes. Usually there's 10 notes, but we're only using uh, eight out of the 10. And so we had to kind of try a couple methods to figure out what tonality we're in, but we're definitely in the C tonality, C minor, C major. So here we play Diddy, 30 seconds.
And that concludes today's stream. What we really like about working with this one is getting to use our new chords that we spent so much time uh, and then making decisions like here, the C4-4 is, is a different way to, to end than this one. And it's subtle, but, but we can hear it. And we like having both versions. They're both ambivalent to tonic, but this one is a 4-4 four, four chord, which is one of our extended chords, and this one is a very traditional 4-3 chord. So, our ideas for next time are to continue to work with stuff, in particular the hybrid tech video edit, this thing over here. We need to keep going through and adding uh, these transitions, and we also uh, sound normalize, and then going back to the reaper thing um well we already tried harmony but we could instead of taking one voice take do another two voice takes and and see if we can blend our uh, ourselves shout outs to roger span who came by mr spatz who came by miss cleo who kept us inspired and silent lurker we appreciate you tune in next time to see what happens do take care do come back and do keep on streaming